Now demonstrate the use of Unicode within Uniface 9, some new interesting widgets, as well as other usability and proc language enhancements. For this, we'll use a simple client server components. So let's start with Unicode. Here, we've got a simple form component showing various Uniface widgets. It clearly demonstrates Uniface ability to display multiple languages within the same widget. On top of the screen, we got a message box widget. Left part shows a tree widget. Tab. List box. Radio group. Drop down list. Combo box. Buttons and some edit boxes at the bottom. Another useful enhancement within Uniface 9 is the ability to provide dynamic tooltips and change mouse pointers at runtime. Here we've got a simple form which shows various instrument records. Please note two fields here. Variation field, which we'll use to dynamically show the tooltip for the image and the price field. Note that the price field contains two parts. The first part is the fixed price and the second part is something we'll use as a dynamic tooltip. These are separated by the gold character. Let's change some of these values to show the real-time changes. We'll change the original price to $599 thus making a saving of $250. And we'll change the value of the variation field to transparent ocean blue. Let's save the data and test in a summary form. When I move my mouse pointer over the image, we should see the new transparent ocean blue tooltip. And we do. Also, notice the price remained the same, while the tooltip is using the second part, showing the changes we made. At this point, we'll also demonstrate the Uniface ability to dynamically change mouse pointers at runtime. So if you move the cursor over the manufacturer record, notice how the mouse pointer changes. The same is valid for the buttons on top. With Uniface 9, we can also dynamically change the size and position of the fields at runtime. Here, we've got a form with two pre-created occurrences. On the right of the form, we've got two drop-down lists. One, allowing us to select the record that we want to focus on. And the second one, allowing us to choose the field that we want to manipulate. The buttons below will allow us to do exactly that within the proc code. We'll change the size of the fields in the increments of 3. So when I click on the right, the size of the field changes. And the same is valid for the left. We can move downwards or upwards. The color handling mechanism within the interface has also been changed. Here we've got a form that will demonstrate that. On top of the screen, we're using a color list widget, and for the foreground, we selected to use the system colors, and for the background, we selected to use web colors. So let's change the foreground to window color and the background to salmon. For dynamically changing the colors, we can also use color names, we can select the color box widget which is native to Windows, or we can graduate the colors using the proc code. Ability to do rich text editing within Uniface has been provided through the rich edit box widget. 
Here we've got a form which holds car records. By selecting a text, we can manipulate the type of the font we're using and some other formatting abilities. Please note, when I save this record and re-retrieve it, the text formatting remains intact. Calendar widget can be used to select dates. Note that the number of months shown depends on the size of the calendar widget you paint on a form. Obviously, the complete appearance of the calendar such as colors week numbers, etc. can be fully manipulated through Uniface. And last but not least, the progress bar. At this point, progress bar is fully integrated with Windows and it's using Windows native colors within the progress bar. Now we're using olive color theme within Windows XP. Hence, the progress bar shows orange color as native to Windows. If we change the Windows color theme to blue, and go back to our progress bar, we'll notice that the progress bar color has changed to green, as native to the blue color theme within Windows XP. This concludes this part of the demonstration.